Yo, what's good in the motherfucking hood, people? It's your boy D. Me. I'm back at it again. I'm up in these Bolivian streets up in South America on Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yes, another beta. Uh, man, I gotta say I enjoyed myself on this one. I mean, truth be told, I've always been a bigger fan of third-person games. It's, I don't know. That's something I grew up on. Metal Gear, Sci-Fi, Filter, Resident Evil, them old school classic joint, Splinter Cell, hey, uh, Legacy of Kane, old school SOCOM and shit, you know what I'm saying, them games, my bad y'all, I had to speed it up right there, cause uh, as you can see, this shit is kinda glitchy, mind you, I am playing a beta, I guess that's the whole point of betas, is to get all them little bugs and glitches out the way, and it kind of serves as a demo as well. And me and the boys, actually, man, we we decided to do some of the missions. And I was I was going to live stream this, but uh, a couple of nights in a row, it was kind of late nights, and I was like, man, sometimes you just don't function that well at late night. So we ended up going ahead and doing this one because this is the closed beta. So we ended up doing this one. And um, the first video I shot was actually way better than this one. But I fucked up by having so much fun, I forgot to fucking record it. Ain't that a bitch. But I made it up for this one. I was like, okay, we got a little tactical. You know what I'm saying? Got your little, your, your normal shit. The Ghost Recon little, uh, what is it called? The little mini helicopter. Little drone. Pulled that out. My boy's in a helicopter. Still in the air. The other one got a little sniper perch somewhere. He about ready to he about ready to get it going. I think my other homeboy, uh, Notorious, is doing the same thing. So you got D me, me, you know, Notorious D21, Angry Flapjack, and Thunderpipe. You know, that four man uh little setup. Like the way that this game kind of plays to me is like an open world army of two. Army of two is, is actually a really dope game. It just it didn't, it didn't get, I guess, as much development time as it should have. So we done pop one of the dudes, pop the second dude, go ahead and kill this cat, and then I'm about to run, run over there and get the next guy. You know what I'm saying? Just so we can get this motherfucking plane. But like I said, this shit uh, is full of bugs, so you're going to see some shit happening. You're going to be like, what the fuck? Believe me, we was doing the same shit. But overall, man. I quite enjoyed the game. I really did. I really fucking enjoyed this game. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, we, we came to a conclusion that this game is meant to be played uh, cooperatively. So, like, playing the shit, because you could play it by yourself and had a computer, you know, play this shit with him. Uh, you can kind of just get real tactical, have them do this, have them do that. And I imagine it's pretty fun. But I'm not about to spend you know, 60 bucks just so I can play this shit by myself when they have the four-player co-op, and I personally believe this game is meant to be played co-op. So, with that being said, I'm like, shit, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy myself, you know? Go ahead and go ahead and play this shit, and, and, and we had some fun, man. We had a lot of fun. But later on, about 1 o'clock in the morning, shit got real stupid, but I decided, uh, <laughs> I decided not to record that. We just... Stood around like assholes just killing each other with fucking grenade launches and C4 and shit, which is, which is cool. But actually coming up right here, I don't know exactly what happened. I don't know if it was maybe a glitch or did one of the teammates get too close to a mission area and we ended up failing that mission. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what, what the fuck? Everybody was kind of just thrown off by that shit. But one thing I will say about this game is you're going to need to have your sniper rifle. You're going to need to have your sniper rifle. Sniping is almost fundamental in this game. You know, regardless of whether you're playing with other people or you just, you know, solo dolo. You're going to need a sniper rifle. This game is legitly fun. Like, I, hey, truth be told, I'd encourage anybody, if you're getting this game, hit me up, man. I'll play it with you. You know what I mean? If you don't have a if you don't have a co-op team, man, hit me up. Me and the homies will play with you. We'll get on there with you. You already know what to do. Shit, Ghost Recon. Just send me that friend request. BFG. 
and just put Ghost Recon in there. That'll let me know what's up, what we about to get into. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be perfect, you know. We don't care about all that. We just out here having fun. I mean, yeah, we're going to go hard, though. But the reason why I say if you ain't got nobody to play with, you you can match mate, but you probably can have somebody doing what my homeboy is about to do right now. You know what I'm saying? Somebody don't get on and troll you and shit and be an asshole and keep fucking up the missions and shit. Just like what he just... <laughs> just like one o'clock shenanigans, man. This shit never fails. So, we were just kind of testing shit out. Pretty much, this was the ass end of the beta for us. We kind of had already did everything. You know what I mean? We, we, didn't, we, we, we had done everything in the game, you know? And I think it's it's a good game though. It is a good game. But one of the things that bothered me the most was the driving. Because in open world games, a lot of your time is gonna be spent in vehicles. And every vehicle we got in just felt like it had no traction. Like like, you know, after playing Grand Theft Auto and then coming playing this. Uh, and you know, truth be told, in between, uh, I would say Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs is probably the number two best open world game, and Grand Theft Auto being number one. This one, I don't know. It's 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 good open world though. Like when you zoom the map out, which I didn't do on this uh, playthrough, but when you zoom the map out, the map is actually pretty damn big. We were just in a small ass uh, spot, and Goddamn, you know, it's big as hell. But what makes it disappointing is that it's so big and you have to use these shitty vehicles to navigate through the map. You honestly do. You have to use shitty ass vehicles. But I will say this though, it does not, this game does not feel like The Division. For anybody who played The Division and kind of just realized that The Division wasn't everything it was sold to be, headshot bitch. It, it got to the point where it was one of those things that, like, you know, people are probably scared to touch this game because it looks like the division, but goddamn, it's actually great. It's actually great. The guns feel nice. We got the chance to shoot two different AKs. We had a his and her AK. You know what I mean? We had a his and her AK. We got the, uh, what was this, this light machine gun. I think we had a submachine gun. Of course, a pistol, sniper rifle, and something else. I can't remember. But overall, we had fun. I mean, to me, uh, the only thing about the like traversing the map, though, the best vehicle you'll probably end up having is the dirt bike. The dirt bike is probably the best vehicle. And even that was shitty. I mean, look, look how difficult it was for me to just get down the mountain. Like, I'll hit a rock, and I can't really just move that well. Like, you can get down smooth as hell, like, on the dirt. <laughs> and, of course, the physics and going straight through fences and shit. But that's probably the best way you can get around the world. Like, the best vehicle, I should say. Ground vehicle. Because you can get in the helicopters. And helicopters are crap to me. I mean, Grand Theft Auto did a, a good job with the helicopters and everything in their, in their game. So, compared to that, then, yeah. This, this doesn't compare to... Grant that photo. Look at that shit. Just running into big ass boulders. <laughs> running into big ass boulders, man. I'm telling y'all. I mean, it's worth it. It's worth a playthrough. Like, um, if you know you got some friends and they and they're going to scoop it up, it's definitely worth a buy. I would definitely say it's worth a buy. I mean, at the very least, you probably will have a good time and have some fun. You know, and despite certain little things about the game you'll have a good time you'll have some fun you'll get real tactical like it's certain shit like like dying in the game and actually about that's about to come up right now there's a part where i, I jump off the bike and i die and like break an ankle and look at that it takes fucking 50 something seconds 50 seconds i had to fast forward this shit like, I literally had to fast forward this shit. It took 50 seconds to fucking come back to life. They need a fucking suicide button let you kill yourself so you can hurry up and come back. But when you die, 
you can actually teleport to a teammate. So, actually right there, I did teleport to a teammate, but they weren't near the helicopter, so I went on and teleported to the helicopter once I came back. And it let you get a little sample of this helicopter. It's not that easy to control, man. It's, it's really not. It's, it's Like I said, it's funny controls. Everything else on the game is actually great. Solid. But the controls on these vehicles and... I'm not really counting these little glitches, like like the glitch, like somebody jumped on the helicopter, but they keep falling off. Not really counting that shit, because none of that is game breaking for me. So, but I can tell you right now, man, traveling through the helicopter is probably a good way to go. Traveling through the dirt bike, using that damn dirt bike, that's a good way to go. Um, big trucks, bigger trucks. They're a good way to go. And this is a little trick I kept doing. If you're in the passenger seat flying the helicopter and there's nobody, I mean, if you're in the driver's seat flying the helicopter and there's nobody in the passenger seat, you just press circle and it'll just, it'll just go out of control. You can just jump back into the, the uh, driver's seat and just keep flying. I was like, damn, that's actually better than regular flying. I kind of did a hell of a lot better. <laughs> But yeah, overall, man, it's a good game, man. Uh, Y'all probably see some more footage of me playing this, man. Uh, more than likely, I'll probably do some live streams. <laughs> they shot me down. And you can be a real asshole like I did. I just bailed on them. <laughs> Both of them, or one of them died. My other partner, he didn't have a parachute, so. <sighs> We're going to have to go collect his dog tags and bring it back to his family because, you know, hey. Nothing like a real asshole move. <laughs> but like I said, man, if you plan on getting this game, get it. And make sure you play it co-op. Don't play it by yourself. It probably just get too boring too fast. But yo, check it. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you comment, subscribe, and definitely hit that like button for your boy.